big opportunity out there. You know what? This city needs to help. This city needs to change. Um, uh, you know, Fowler's beautiful. Monterey County's beautiful. I'm like, damn, I kind of want to make it the same almost. So it just kind of does stuck in my head, like, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe one day I'll make a difference. Like, you know, so I started just going out to homeless. You know, I feed them. I do big cookouts. We go out, like, today we go out and clean up pretty much all State Street. We, you know, I, I kind of go out and talk to them. I'm not scared of talking to them. You know, everybody, everybody deserves a second chance, a third chance. I mean, everybody deserves hope, you know. We're all humans at the end of the day. So um, that's just the main thing, what I was concerned, like, three years ago with the homeless. And then I started looking at the kids, because I have four kids myself. Um, they all go to St. Hyacinth Academy, Catholic Church, um, you know, so. They're, they're good. All my kids are the ones that are real educated. They're like, come to me, Dad, you know this? I'm like, wow, you know more than me. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had a bad experience. Somebody broke in my house. I was sleeping, and they were just going in there to steal probably something, but they saw me sleeping, and I got a rifle to the back side of my head, and I almost died. They, they had me in by my neck. So after that day, I kind of went back to Fallbrook for like about just a day, because I'm like, I can't give up. I'm not just going to let go of myself. And, no, I got to go back and and do something about this. I'm not gonna go look for the guy, but I need to make a difference. I need to make a change. You know, we do have a lot of gangs, a lot of drugs out here, and I'm real raw with the people. Not like I just real to them. You know, I tell them how it is, and they, they I want to hear what they gotta say. And you know, so I've been working with a lot of homeless um, lately. So I know a lot of homeless out here, Hammond and San Jacinto, and you know, it just helps me like to see what what help they need, where they need to be at. Um, so that's one thing, but with the youth also too, when I'm trying to work with the youth, it's more like opportunities for them. You know, like me and my family seem to always be in San Diego or Temecula or somewhere else because there's really like nothing fun for the kids to do here, you know? And at the end of the day, like that's the generations coming out, you know, coming after us and stuff like that. So, you know, they're the ones who are gonna take over us and keep, keep it going. So they're the ones who keep the chains moving. So I believe in my heart that, you know, um, our, it's how we, how we water the trees that, that's how they're gonna end up. So we want strong trees around the city and pretty much all, you know, all over the county right here. We do have a lot of homeless problems, so I do talk to Bowen, you know, uh, Bowen's ex-mayors there, people from Banning, Temecula, I know a lot of people in Temecula, even Escondido, my uncle owns business in Escondido, American Battery, but since 1962 after Vietnam where he started this small building, he's been in business for 50 something years now, very successful man. And I learned all my business from him. I was sitting in his office for like two, three hours, he was just drilling me about something that they wrong. And I'm like, that is the point. Don't you understand that I made this much money? He's like, that's not the point. This is the point. And I'm like, oh, and I finally got it after I opened my own business. I do have a battery business here in on stage, which is called Discount Battery Center. And it hurt his heart when I opened it, by the way. It was very <laughs> devastating. <laughs> He's like, you're my competition. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not taking your customer. I promise, I'm going towards the desert. Um, Let's see what else here. That's so the homeless, the youth, um, our public safety. Um, I talked to a lot of seniors here also in San Jacinto and they get breaking into, people break in there, they vandalize their stuff. So we do need more, either more police or in a, more lighting for once. Um, to add, you know, hire more police, more security at night. But we do need more of that, you know, for sure. Um, like when I was losing my life, fighting for my life that time, um, you know, I, I don't know what happened that day. It just, I, well, I gave up. You know, I had to have it by the neck. I gave up. And next thing you know, I heard my mom's voice. Because my mom died like four years ago. She battled cancer 13 years. And um, I just remember like trying to pull them down. And then I was just done pretty much. I was done. I just started seeing this like, this bright light and just warm feeling. If, if, it kind of feels, it kind of felt good to be honest. It was feeling good, like, like I'm going to sleep. But, and I remember like my mom's voice two times, get up, get up. And I sort of got open my eyes and that guy had run back to the bathroom and next thing you know, I just have the rifle in my hands. And I'm just like, whoa, what the hell was that? I can't reach, so I just get out, I call the police. It took them like 35 minutes to get there. They, and they're just like right around the corner. And I'm like, damn, you know, we would have better police, more, you know, they, those guys would have been caught. And so all these ideas started coming in my head, you know, and my family, you gotta move back home. And I never went back home. I just wanted to stay here. I just wanted to do something because, I mean, who else? I mean, who else hasn't got attacked or breaking into and stuff like that? So we do need to make a change. So I moved to the city and I stayed in the city um, just, just for this opportunity, you know? 
Um, I'm not here, nobody's behind me. I'm my own commissioner, my own treasurer, my own everything. I'm, nobody's behind me telling me to say this. I'm just real raw, I don't write anything down. It's just all from my heart. Um, I took care of my mom 13 years. Um, that was a hard job. It was hard. Um, saw my mom died six, seven times in my arms. I took care of my four um, sisters and two brothers. On top of my three kids, I had three kids at that time. So it was tough. So if I was managed to manage all that and still go to work and provide for my family and everything, so um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I'm capable to do anything in my life. And I'm young, I'm hungry, I want to change, and that's 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 what I'm here just to serve the people. I'm just here for the people. That's it. You know, I'm not here for profits. I'm here for the people. Did I miss anybody? Anybody else want a moment of verbal?